Michael Maguire, plenty to play for today in terms of pride. Um, 38 points to nil. How do you assess that one? Yeah, we weren't good at uh, stage throughout the game and it just cost us. Um, you know, discipline areas and you know, various things that we could have controlled a lot better. You know, it just hurt us. Uh, you know, you look at us straight after half time and we had our winger and our fullback run into each other and they get, get the ball and we end, on, uh, end up under the post. So those areas definitely hurt us. Ten years now this team hasn't played in the final series. What has to change at the Tigers? Uh, we're in the process of changing that and no doubt people will continually refer to ten years. But it's about the future and where we're going. Uh, that's one thing that I've spoken about quite a bit, about the transformation of what we're doing with the club. Uh, you, know, you saw a lot of youth out there. Um, yeah, we have, I think, 12 blokes sitting on the sideline. So we will be a different team next year. But what we have got now, we've got a lot of experience with these younger guys moving forward and uh, understanding what it takes to play first grade. You talk about the future, Jackson, Jackson Hastings comes to the club next year. How do you give the fans and members confidence that this team's going to be better? Uh, when you look at all those young boys that we've played, I know you talk about you know, Jackson and we've got Oliver Gildart coming. Uh, the younger boys and then bringing back in probably 10 of our players that are sitting on the sideline at the moment, uh, we've got the makings of what it takes to move forward in the competition you know, and grow the team. Uh, you know, we've talked about these younger guys. Unfortunately, out there today, you know, the pressure built and you know, we had uh, a young player like Zach Sini come out for the first time and I think that's probably the, been the challenge that I've faced uh, and a number of teams face when you're bringing in guys that haven't played for quite some time. So these young boys are expecting them to stand up straight away. So uh, the availability of um, a number of our players on the sideline will change that team and we know exactly where we're going. When the Tigers have been good, they've been good, but when they've been bad, they've been awful. Is there a culture problem at the club? Uh, no, no. It's the the learnings of how to do things at longer periods of time. You know, I think uh, yourself, Corey, you've probably spoken about us playing some really good footy, but it's learning how to do that for longer periods of time. You know, we've we had Dane Laurie, Adam Dewey, uh, Jimmy Tamau, Luke Garner, uh, James Roberts. You know, those guys. There's a, there's a number of senior players that you know add to what we need to do when we're on. Um, yeah, you know, we've got a number of players that, yeah, you know, with those names. Uh, can really steer a, a strong team around. So you know, people talk about culture, and it's us to um, up to us to you know, continually forge forward. Your name's been mentioned in regards to your job being under pressure. Are you the right man for the job for the Tigers? Uh, yep. Yep. I um, I know exactly where the team's going, um, and the organisation knows where the team's going, and we've got to make sure that we continually be disciplined about what we're trying to build here. Uh, Changing teams and changing pathways of clubs takes a little bit of time. Doesn't mean you can't get better performances on the park. I'll acknowledge that. But it's about continually just sticking to the path of where we're going with this group. Yeah, we've gone obviously to uh, a number of youth now and yeah, you know, then you add in a number of those players that I just spoke about before. Uh, the, the game is a lot different. Thanks for your time. Enjoy the off-season. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate.